In this teaching video, we will show you how to properly examine the abdomen of a pregnant mother and demonstrate this by examining Helen, who is 35 weeks pregnant. We will first explain the stages of the systematic obstetric examination, then follow this with a complete examination and presentation of findings as we would expect it to be performed. We are very grateful to Helen, our pregnant mother, who is helping us with this project. Hi Helen, I'm Jenny. I'm going to examine you and feel your baby. First of all, we're going to get you in a better position. I'm just going to put the bed down a little bit. You alright there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean my hands with some alcohol gel. I'm going to put a wedge in underneath your bump. This takes pressure from the inferior vena cava. There we are. Okay. We're going to start by inspecting the tummy. I'm just going to expose your bump now if that's okay. It's important to have a good look. We're looking for linear nigra, stretch marks, and also it's important to look for scars, and a previous cesarean scar can be easily missed if you don't look carefully. The linear nigra is a dark line that appears in pregnancy below and above the umbilicus and disappears after pregnancy. And as you can see, this lady doesn't appear to have any stretch marks. When palpating the abdomen, it's always important to bear in mind, is this one baby? Or could there be more than one baby, i.e. a twin pregnancy? The first thing to do is to feel carefully for the fundus. This is the top of the uterus. I'm feeling for the fundus here with my left hand. And it's not always in the midline. The next thing to do is to feel the lie of the baby. You do this by trying to feel the baby between your two hands. This baby is obviously lying in a longitudinal fashion, which is up and down the abdomen. However, some babies can be lying transverse or oblique, where the presenting part lies towards one side or the other. The next part of the obstetric examination is to discover the presentation of the baby. This is, is the baby cephalic or breech? There are two ways to do this. One is with both hands, trying to feel deeply the presenting part. A head will feel firm and hard and round in comparison with the bottom. Another way to do it is using Paulix grip which I'm going to demonstrate now, and I'm blotting the presenting part between my fingers. This lady's baby is breached, and I can easily feel a hard, smooth, round, firm head between my fingers at the top of the uterus. The next stage of the examination is to determine the engagement. The engagement is how much of the presenting part is below the pelvic brim, and it's measured in fifths. It takes quite a lot of experience, to get this right. Most babies don't engage until near term. Now that I know the lie and the presentation of this baby, I'm going to measure the fundal height. The fundal height measurement is the distance between the symphysis pubis and the top of the uterus. I'm just going to feel on your pubic bone that it's a little bit uncomfortable. So I found the pubic symphysis. Please don't use the heel of your hand to do this measurement. The fundal height usually correlates to the gestation, so the fundal height in centimetres to the gestation in weeks. I'm going to turn the tape measure over so I'm not influenced as I take this uh, reading. 36 centimetres, lovely. The final part of the examination is auscultation. There are two ways to listen to the baby's heart. One is with a peanut stethoscope, or the other with a sonicade. The baby's heart rate is best heard over the shoulder, and because this baby is breached and I can feel the back along here, I'm going to listen just here. The normal heart rate is between 110 and 160 beats a minute. If there's any doubt about whether this could actually be maternal pulse, it's important to check this. Hi Helen, I'm Jenny, one of the doctors. Are you alright if I examine you? Mm -hmm. Lovely. I'm going to expose your bump. And I'm going to have a good look. Have a look. You've had a cesarean before, haven't you? I'm just going to feel the top of your womb. Okay. I'm just going to feel the way the baby's lying. I'm going to feel the presenting part of your baby. I think your baby might be 
reach. There we are, there's a head just there. I'm going to measure your um, tummy. Start up here. I'm just going to come down to the pubic surface. It's a little bit uncomfortable there, it's just the bone. I just need to take that measurement. 36 centimetres. Great. And I'm just going to listen to your baby's heart rate. Because your baby's breached, I'm going to listen just up here. I think this is the best place to hear it. Okay. I'm now going to summarise my examination in a logical and succinct way. This is a framework that you might like to use in the future. So, I've examined Helen and she has a singleton baby that's lying in a longitudinal fashion. The baby is breached and not engaged. The fundal height is 36 centimetres, which correlates well with her gestation. I heard the fetal heart and it was normal. It's not easy getting up in late pregnancy, so I'm just going to give you a hand. Can we help you up? Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Great. <laughs>